Hey guys, where are we going today, guys? New, New York. York. I was gonna try to do the accent, but it wasn't New York. Gonna... Yeah. Oh, New York. York. She's doodles. I'm. I doing. know. So just, I'm just having technical difficulties right now. You're always having technical difficulties. It's just too much going on. I just can't wear my glasses because my nose is gonna have no makeup on it, and that's really not the best for me. Look at my eyebrows. Bitches get the eyebrows done in the morning. It's not this. I didn't even press play, it just came on, okay? Hey guys, no fighting, okay? Not today, not on the Lord's Day. Today on my YouTube channel, we have. What is that? Oh, yeah, I need some settings. Makeup, right fix, and miss. My Pixie. My Pixie. Luminous Putty Prime. By Elf. <laughs> Stuff is so dumb. <laughs> Two-in-one foundation and concealer. Who's that by? Oh, Milani. I never tried that. I think it's really good. Do you like it? Yeah. 16 hour camel concealer. Works just as good as Tarte. You yeah, don't like the matte one. Hayden, camel concealer. Just as good as Tarte. Options. For hydration. Options. That food was so good last night. We ate last night? I'm at Rouge. Oh. oh, that seemed like two days ago. That seemed like know, a long ass time ago. I'm still thinking about the chicken wings. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking. I didn't get a chicken wing. No, serious. First of all, all the people, y'all bought four chicken wings. Like, what? I said, damn, I already asked for like 10 things. I can't also answer a chicken wing. Hey guys, we're live from the, what's the tip here? 917. 917 for 215. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so funny to me. I'd be like, 917. They'd be like, wait, what? And because especially you give it to like a company in Philly, they think that's you're starting it up. They'd be like, what was the 917 for? It's hot. I'm terrible at vlogging. So, Jay just was talking to a stranger and tried to shake his hand in the middle of a pandemic. No, he tried to shake my hand. It was a, excuse me, beautiful, can I talk to you? It was giving him my name. <laughs> I really was like, why are you talking to both of y'all? And then kicked me out the bus. Like, what the hell? I was so confused. You said, it's three Mexicans, not four. But it's you. <laughs> you go. Like, what? Ooh, press juicy. I bet you your stuff is good. Yeah. Love the logo. Love the branding. Oh, yeah, I need to get like a smoothie or something, too. Yeah. Press That's juicy. Fair. We're walking to Kith. Um... The Bape Store has a waiting list. They're ghetto. They're giving me very 2000 vibes. Yeah. Chrome Hearts is closed. It is? Yeah, I already looked. I'm sweating. My no, edge control my edge control is coming off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm you don't you don't want YouTube to see what? The pain. Why are you gonna be in pain? Um, because it's gonna burn my chest. Oh. Can we turn the air down a little? So <laughs> yeah, the noise is actually killing me. It's really loud, right? Yeah, here. Yeah. But it's like so hot outside that when the air is not on, that you get hot again. Okay. Are you ready to party? Woo! Okay. Sorry. I said, you gotta do it again. Hang me up. Hang I said, up. are you ready to party? Hang me up. Hang me up. Hang me up. <laughs> Where'd you get a spray from? This is what you got yesterday. I got a spray yesterday? Yeah, we went to the dollar store. We went to look for oh, for the contest. Yeah. contest? yeah. There's a contest? Yeah, we helped the girl. I forgot all about that. Damn, I've been girl. buying a whole lot, bunch of food. The cashier food. lady. I everybody's It's the collarbones for me, baby. I can sell you. Is Sona and Sue half with me? I didn't eat. Chef, give me a beat. 
I can play music that's not copyright. I have it on my phone here. Hold on. I need some like you know motivation. I got you. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please hold. Please hold. Please hold. Please. Ooh. Just turn on something. They always say New York's the first to go. But then you gotta connect my phone because I think my Bluetooth. <laughs> I don't have any more hands. Stop. Where's the charger? My elite. This. Yeah. Like I think my car is connected to your Bluetooth. From the it day is. I had it. Yeah. Is it by him? Huh? Is the volume up on the car? Oh, you're smart. Oh my wow. god, what? Alright, there you go. And do you say I smoke too much? Yeah. Go on with it, go on with it. Okay. This is the motivation I need it. Are you ready to pray? That's my best friend. She finna. That Bombay got some kickback, don't it, bitch? Woo! 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 Kick it off. I'm wearing the love of my life. It's Harper Dead. It is. Harper Dead. It is. It's Harper Dead. It's Harper Dead. It is. It's Harper Dead. My girlfriend came out here to see me. She really didn't. She came out here for empanadas. Oh my god. But, I was here. Yeah, I definitely come for empanadas. Go Are you ready to party? Oh. Whatever that's going to be. That's the new camera? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Is this 4K? Yeah. 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 What kind of camera is it? Sony ZV-1. It's better than the old one. Get your face. How much Sony is it? Sony How much Sony is it? Say that again. Oh, you got it. I'm so um, confused. Then, uh, I'm like brown. Two of the like float my boat, but can you do it without the jalapeno syrup? Yeah. Oh, can you make it frozen? Oh no. Oh, that's All right, fine. Okay, thank you. 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 The dead one sweep. One sweep, sorry, dead. dining it's like not confusing I mean it's like hard to like just say like oh I just want to go here so yeah I mean we ended up having drinks lunch and dinner and stuff but we were definitely like in the car most of the time just because we went around a few parts of the city so yeah but we got home on time so that everyone could wake up for work tomorrow and that was fun I had a good time um, it was nice to just it was nice to just you know spend some time with my friends and kind of unplug for the day because you guys know I haven't really done that in a long time um, and it was nice I mean you know I had the weekend to myself since Harper was gone um, 
it helped me if you recall what I was talking about in last week's vlog it helped me in a sense um, but you know it is what it is like just going out sometimes and having a breath of fresh air and looking nice it does help me but it doesn't make problems disappear so yeah it is what it is right now but I had a good time so that's all that matters um, so yeah I'm just driving to get Harper it's like traffic I don't understand why and I forgot my freaking water bottle in the house so I'm like dehydrated but and I'm not getting out the car to buy a bottle of water like that I'm just not wasting my time so yeah, I have like 20 more minutes in my drive to go get her um, so I'm just gonna drive I'm turning the camera off just because I don't really feel like having it on I'll turn it back on when she gets in the car um, and that's pretty much it so yeah thank you guys for all the sweet messages as well today I made Sunday's episode live even though it was Monday um, and you guys have been really sweet regarding me telling you guys that I just wasn't okay um, you guys know I, I, I am the captain of saying it's okay to not be okay um, you guys know that's really something I believe in and because I deal with like really bad anxiety and I'm just an emotional person and I'm just so stressed out all the time I guess I go through these moods um, and they happen a lot but you would think by now I would be I would know how to get myself out of them and I don't but yeah thank you guys for all the sweet messages sending positive vibes my way and stuff I know you guys like wouldn't be mad if I took a little bit of a break but I'm just like really trying to figure it out and business is booming right now regarding YouTube so I don't want to like disappear right now while I'm in like the peak of it all I don't know so I really am feeling overworked honestly but I just have to figure it out so yeah I'm just gonna finish my ride over there to her and listen to my music so I will see you guys in a little bit because I don't know where my voice is <laughs> hey guys welcome to mommy YouTube I came back from Jai House you came back from where? You have fun? Mm. Jay scratched my face, you see? Jay scratched your face. You know when my leg hurts when I go Huh? You know she always keep fighting me? Why? She, she slapped people in the face. Oh my goodness, you let her smack you in the face? She slapped me open the face and she did this. What? Good morning, and today's actually the morning. So if you hear the TV in the background, it's not my TV, it's downstairs. So it's 10.43, today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because I just, my day was in shambles, like, I'm not even gonna say I was on an emotional roller coaster because I wasn't. My mood stayed in one day, one setting all day. And then like as the day went on, it just kept getting worse and worse, like just things that I had to deal with. So yeah, I didn't vlog at all yesterday. I didn't do anything though anyway, so you guys didn't miss nothing. I'm trying to find like a better way to put the camera. But yeah, so you guys didn't miss anything yesterday. Um I just had a crappy day, like the world is crumbling down and on top of that my period comes on in like three days so you guys know i'm just emotional and sensitive as hell right now i didn't realize that my period was coming on um because usually i break out really bad the week of my period and i only have like one little pimple right now that i put a pimple patch on um but like because my skin is fine right now i had no idea my period was about to come on until my phone alerted me on the health app so yeah, so today's Wednesday. Um, the Boohoo Live, the Boohoo Live, the Boohoo Hall is gonna go live today. Um, I have some errands to run. I don't know if I should run them today or wait till tomorrow. Honestly, I haven't really decided yet. I couldn't sleep last night because everything was on my mind. So yeah, I'm just like all over the place, and um. I have so many videos to film like literally I have like four videos that I need to film um, I'm gonna space them out into like hopefully two days or at least try to do all one day so that's less that I have to do but yeah I do have to go run errands today I have to go to, like to the bank and target and stuff but I just really don't feel like going I'm just not honestly in the mood um, so yeah 
and it's so early you guys know i'm not a morning person like i'd rather sleep till one o'clock so that my day could just hurry up and end that sounds so depressing but like i'd rather wake up late so that my day is already over than to wake up early and it's just like well what the hell do i do because i have to do something so right now i'm just gonna start straightening up my room because it's like it's not dirty in here it's just like things are not in their homes so yeah um and i have to like start prepping everything for the other videos that i have to film for you guys and then hopefully once i do all of that i could just take a little social media break if i have everything like ready to go live you know it's different dates i don't have to worry about filming and stuff um so yeah i'm just so tired guys i appreciate like all of your sweet messages and stuff though like a lot of you guys have been dming me um i've been trying to respond to everybody but i know i don't always get to everybody um sometimes i like clear out my dm request box often because i get like so many like little them sugar daddy requests that i swear people are trying to line me or something i don't know um so like i always empty my request box but i do try to respond to everyone so if i don't i apologize but yeah um i'm so tired but I just went and made Harper something to eat and I just refilled my water bottle so I could drink some water because I, I get so dehydrated when my period's coming on. Like my body is just depleting everything so I'd be so thirsty. So yeah. But um yeah, let's just clean. I'm just gonna like make my bed um and clean my closets out and stuff. And then I have laundry. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do my laundry today. Or I have to see if we have my favorite laundry detergent because if we don't, I'm not doing my laundry. Oh my god, my head look big. Hey guys, today is... Hey girl, hey! Today's Thursday, it's like 1.30, so I just finished my makeup. Wow. I just finished my makeup because um, I'm going to try I'm gonna try to film three videos today. If I only get two done, that's okay too. Um, I'm basically just going to knock out the videos for August and a little bit into September. Um, like Wednesday's videos so yeah so I'm doing two hauls today with two companies that you guys really like one I never done one with but I have clothes from there um, so yeah I got some stuff from there and then the other one I've already done a haul with but this one is sponsored um, and then I'm gonna do like a beauty Amazon haul a little bit of tech stuff like a little bit of youtuber stuff but mostly like beauty and self-care items that you never know you needed um uh and i think that's it for like the videos right now um and then i'm gonna do a video trying to do makeup that i showed you guys i was been supposed to do that but then i ended up ordering the foundation in a lighter color um because mine was like too dark and i really like the foundation which you which you guys know i'm irritated about but i really like the foundation but I ordered a lighter color to see if it was a closer match to me. Um, and then I could return the other one I have. And then I had a bronzer that I bought last week or whenever I got that package. But I don't know. I'm, I told you guys how I'm really picky about my bronzers. Like, I like my bronzers to be really warm. Like, I like them to look sun-kissed. Um, and I just find that most bronzers, they're just so dark and cool-toned. And I hate that. And I remember... Oh, my God. I remember when everybody used to say that um, the Guerlain bronzer was really good, but I think they stopped making it like in the darker color because I remember um, Shayla used to use it, makeup Shayla. So I thought I ordered food that entire time and I didn't, wow. But yeah, so I don't know. Hold on, I'm just checking my text messages. So yeah, so... I always go on the Sephora website and I'm like always just go to the bronzer section and I never see anything warm toned. Like if I could just find a whole bunch of dupes for MAC Dark Deep from other brands, I would try them. But they're always super cool toned. So the one that I did get from Fenty, I re I'm returning because literally I put it on my face and it just looked like a big dark mark. It was not sexy. It was not cute whatsoever. So I'm going to return that. And that's my second Fenty bronzer because I have it in beige and gal. And I feel like beige and gal almost blends in with my skin color. Like you guys can't really see it. So I ordered Caramel Cutie and that one's a mess. But I did order another bronzer that you guys are going to see in the video. I don't want to tell you what it is. So hopefully that one works out. So me and Harp are waiting for our lunch to get here. 
we ordered burgers and fries because we're so fat so yeah um it says it's not gonna be here till 220 so i think what i'm gonna do is try to get one video out the way now while i'm waiting and then i could eat and film wow filming two fashion hauls after you eat a burger asia impressive this kid is that your tummy talking oh my goodness i heard your tummy look at your little apple head you're the little apple head you want to go eat a snack mm -hmm. until the food gets here all right so i just finished filming i'm so proud of myself because i pushed through it and i filmed all three videos today so i did two hauls well, I actually did three hauls. Like one was a collective haul and a two for two fashion hauls. So yeah, I got all of that out the way. I probably had one of those rings on my lips. Yep, sure did. Mm-hmm. You know when you talk too much? It's a thing. But yeah, so I just finished filming. So now I have a pile of clothes on my bed and pile of clothes down there from all the hauls. And I need to fold everything and hang it up. But I don't have any hangers as always. So this camera is dying. I'm going to go shower and stuff like that. And I have to wash my makeup brushes. But I think we'll just do that tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow since this battery is dying anyways. And yeah, bye guys. Good morning. So what's today? Friday. I don't have any earrings on. I hate not having earrings on. But it's Friday. It's... 3:49. i did just wake up but like not like in real life i woke up at like eight o'clock this morning and i was up for like four hours when my period came on today so like the first two days of my period i just be having to sleep a little bit so yeah i just washed my face and stuff and i'm about to do the scans of my teeth my teeth um because it's been two weeks since i put my last couple trays in Hold on, I'm turning my TV on. So, yeah, I had a pimple right here yesterday, and it, like, turned into a whitehead. And I put the Curology patch on it, and that's what you see right here, because there's, like, a little tiny whitehead right there. But let me tell y'all how this is the first time I've gotten my period, probably in my whole life, like, in my 24 years of life, where I didn't have, like, a whole bunch of breakouts right here. Like, my skin is so smooth. If I could just even out my skin tone... It'd be lit um, but I told you guys I'm taking a break from the pill so um, I'm gonna restart it soon like after summer's over but when I restart the pill I'm gonna like apply it with the q-tip like on a sp the certain spot so that way I'm not lightening all of my skin again cuz it did lighten like my skin but not like bleach my skin like it's just cuz all the dead skin peeled off which is fine like I'm okay with that but I don't want to keep um, putting it on my entire face so when I start the pill back up, I'm only going to put it like on the marks. But I also started using the Dr. Dennis Gross pills, the um, Alpha Beta pills. So I want to see how those work too in the meantime while I'm not using the pill. If that makes sense. Does that make sense? So yeah, I'm just laying here. I have, um, I need to go to Sephora and to the bank, but it's whatever. I'm not doing that on Friday. I'm not doing it on the weekend. So that's the way till next week. It's no rush anyways. But today on my agenda is I have to edit a, well, I'm going to edit three YouTube videos to get them out the way and upload them to YouTube for the entire month of August um, and a little bit of September. And then I need to clean my makeup brushes because I want to film a makeup video. Like a get ready with me chit chat, but I want to do clean brushes. I don't know when. I haven't cleaned my brushes in months, but I also don't clean my brushes a lot because I don't do my makeup a lot. Um, so yeah, so I need to do that later, but I'll do that later tonight so they can just dry overnight. And I wanted to open a package with you guys right now. So this package is from Ty Michelle here. So I don't know if anyone if well i don't know if you guys know who ty michelle is i follow her on instagram when i tell you she does the fuck out of a wig like let me see how can i get this open? her wigs are so pretty oh my god it's never a video without the dog but her wigs are so pretty like they just always look super super real and she does like a beautiful dye game too like she um does a lot of like not ombre but like blended tips but like she does like those really perfect effortless ways i have her link down below and i'll put a picture of her work right here but her work is bomb like i used to always be like damn if i get a wig i need a, i need my wig to be from sis because they look so real so she was so nice she wanted to reach um to work together and she sent me some of her hair extensions and i'm so excited 
and her box is super cute like it says tm time with show like love the branding sis this is what we call branding so yeah it says time with show hey asia it's official you're a tm babe like super cute so it's just all the hair in here and then from what I'm looking at, they're 1B, which is fine because right now 1B has been blending in with my hair. And I picked 24 inches. It smells like hair. But I was so excited to get these because she like sews them on the machine. So they're super thick. So they're double wefted. And if you guys could see, she has like the band right here in the clips. So I feel like these are just going to be so secure in my head. And they're just so thick because they are two wefts wow sis did that sis did that she sent me two packs of hair because i was telling her how my hair is thick um so like one pack of hair is never enough but this is going to be more than enough because it's double wefted these are so pretty i wish i could like i wish i was like into blonde still because i would like dye the ends but y'all know how i feel about that it's a no for me so yeah these are so pretty though so you guys know i've been wearing clippings too um from another girl her brand is called naya vista her hair is really good too it's um virgin indian i believe i think virgin indian is like the best hair that personally blends with my hair you're probably thinking why don't you get like virgin cambodian i don't know but yeah i like hers too um but from what i'm looking at like i'll probably show you guys a little bit later um but like clip wise they're different so the other ones that i were wearing they were like just hair clips sewn on to like a weft whereas she double wefted them or they i actually think it's freaking triple wefted because i see is it gonna focus if you guys see the three wefts right there so it's three wefts and then she puts like this fabric over top and then sews the clip on which is making them as thick as they are so that way you don't have to wear as many um does it look like i need a diet yeah i might need a diet but then again I don't think not i think my ends are lighter than my hair um so yeah these are really nice i can't wait to wear these so what i've been thinking is that because these are thicker so now that i since i have two sets it's so funny because you guys know for months i was saying i need some clipping extensions while wow, looking at me manifesting it but i think because these are so thick and pretty that these are going to be like my set that i wear when i wear my hair straight um like that was since I have two sets, I might as well just wear them. So I think, uh, ooh, this is a big one, this four piece. I think this is gonna be the set that I wear when my hair is straight. And I really like this natural wave too of the hair, but wear these when my hair is straight since this hair is so thick and that way I don't have to wear as many clips to make my head bulky. Um, and then the other one are the ones I wore when I was waving my hair and but that way because since my hair is wavy I don't I have better control over how many clips I need um I have better control over how many clips I need so um but yeah this is so much freaking hair this is crazy like imagine if I put this whole thing in my head girl what but yeah thank you so much Ty she is so sweet she is so fly to y'all like literally gold since today's friday today's free game of the vlog is i wanted to tell you guys how to make extra money from videos and from youtube so basically if you're new here i try to include a free game segment of every haul i mean every haul every sunday's vlog and not that i have all the best insight but i think there's just things that people don't know and i wish that i knew um and these are things that work out really well for me so Today's free game tip is, you know, once you get a thousand subscribers, you'll obviously be able to monetize your videos. Um, that's the one thing that everybody looks forward to do. But it's not like the second you get a thousand subscribers, you're going to start generating a thousand dollars off of every single video or every single month in, in, in a sense because you get paid once a month per period. So, yeah, it doesn't work like that. The math on it is super hard. Um, so, yeah whatever don't be like oh once i get a thousand subscribers and i monetize my videos it's lit up it's up and it's stuck that's not the case so another way to make sure you get extra income off of doing your videos because you got to think about it us as content creators like we put content out there for you guys but then we want to provide the best content so like me having a camera that you guys didn't see a problem with which was my sony g7x mark 3 you guys never complained about that camera you guys actually always told me my quality was really good 
but when a better camera comes out that I can produce better quality better audio but it's still being compact I wanted to invest in the camera because it's better for you guys and you guys were saying oh no like we don't need 4k vlogs like it's not that serious but it's just taking everything into consideration so um what what I'm getting at is basically that you know some people don't like clicking affiliate links or links that people generate commissions from but it's not that the commission is ever charged to you like it's not like oh if you decide to shop from this person's link we're gonna charge your extra dollar and a dollar is gonna go to them it doesn't work like that so basically what happens is it's like a lot of influencers make money off of links and we actually make a very good money off of links like i have paid lots of like credit like full credit card bills in full with these um linking commissions so my favorite companies to do affiliate links are magic links and amazon um if you ever see a link that says like bitly bitly isn't something we get paid off of but bitly is more so that you could shorten the link just so that it's not super super long but you could still track um how many people are clicking in how many people are going to that link from you x y and z that way if a brand does ever approach you you could and they don't want to pay you you could say well hey a long time ago i linked something um and ten thousand people went to the website from my link within a week you know what i'm saying but yeah so magic links is another company that's like that so you guys know i love to do like a lot of misguided pretty little thing hauls for you guys because i know that's where you guys like to shop i know you guys like more affordable clothing options more trendy pieces uh, and stuff like that so i have no problem with those links but basically what happens oh and sorry but basically what happens is magic links um you sign up you become a member i heard about magic links through aisha aisha i think no i think it's aisha um i don't know if you guys follow aisha on youtube but she was living in Canada and she moved to LA. I used to always watch her. Her skin is phenomenal. Um, and she's just really sweet. Um, I used to watch her videos during Ramadan. Like I'm not Muslim or anything, but I just always like am super intrigued with it. So yeah, she's super sweet. So she introduced me to her, what it was in one of her videos. So if you guys do get magic links to just say that like you found out for, about it from Aisha or from me or whatever. So once you become a member of magic links as a content creator or i think this just says a creator um you have access to all of these brands so basically it's one platform that you are able to just put your items in the exact links and magic links will give you a shortened link which is your specified link and it tracks the money that you're generating off of your link so for instance my first pretty little thing haul that i did with you guys um I don't remember how many subscribers I had not a lot like not as many as I have now but I believe on magic links I generated like $2,500 within a week just off of you guys clicking my links alone and um, it all depends like sometimes the sites are doing certain commissions percentages sometimes they're doing entire carts so even if you click my one link but you end up buying 20 things like it all depends on the company um, and then after the return period ends which is usually 60 to 100 and 180 days or something like that that is when magic links will cut the check um once the company cashes them out as well so yeah it's just a that's so funny i got a notification pretty little thing right now so it just works like that um so definitely look into linking through things through magic link like i said i have made a lot of money through magic links and magic links they are a really sweet company um i think they're more sp specific about the content creators they do let in but because i have generated them so much money and i have basically you guys see my hauls like even though i'm not a big youtuber my hauls are always lit like my hauls always have a lot of views and everything i post sells out which is so crazy like by the time i get around to posting my instagram pictures the items are already sold out for my haul um it was at one point within a one to two month time span i did one haul and i made pretty little thing and misguided over eighty thousand dollars in like that short amount of time so you know when they see those numbers and they see that i can in fact influence people to buy things off of my style and what i pick and the time i take out the shop at x y and z that these brands find me as a person that they want to sponsor they want to work with which is why i've been having so many sponsorships with these same companies that i was once doing for free like with my own money 
so yeah it's just super cool so i would definitely look in the magic links if you're thinking about um like furthering your fashion content i think you could do like makeup and everything too because sephora is a part of it but a lot of brands are like it's not just bigger brands like misguided and stuff like that so yeah, another way to make money is Amazon. So a lot of influencers, including myself, we like to do Amazon videos um, because you, you can become a part of the Amazon influencer program, which is rather easy. Um, you just sign up for it and every time you link an item and someone clicks the link and they buy it, you get a percentage of it. But also, if I was to link, if I was to link a pair of socks, I cannot talk with my retainer. If I was to link a pair of socks and you bought my socks, but then you also put a TV worth $2,000 into your cart and purchased it, I will also get a percentage of that TV just because my link is now attached to that one cart purchase. Um, the only thing with Amazon is, is once coronavirus came about, Amazon completely lowered their percentages for the return rates on items. So like Amazon has some of the, the highest at, at the beginning so it was like more so like 6% 12% like the lowest was like I forget what department it was but it was a few it was a few but yeah so ever since coronavirus and the economy has like basically just went to shits um their percentages are lower so we still use it because it is still also a great way to track and let you guys know items but also be able to help us fund our channels like it's all about being able to get money so that we can continue to grow our channels which is aka buying the equipment bettering the equipment you know getting better cameras x y and z like this stuff isn't cheap so yeah amazon influencer is a great way to make additional money as well and again this is not something you go oh i have to go spend two thousand dollars on amazon so that I can make a video. No, look around the house and say I actually have so much crap from Amazon that I never realized I use every day. I'm going to make a video about it. Link everything. Boom. You're done. So yeah, that was the influencer tip of the day. But my Instagram is still deleted, by the way. I probably will bring it back late next week. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to lay in bed right now. I'm going to finish watching Hands Made handmade towels i don't know why i can't say that i had so much laundry to food and i have no hangers yet again so i'm contemplating do i buy hangers or do i think i'm gonna go through my hoodie closet and throw a lot of that crap out um so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow's saturday which is crazy because i didn't do nothing all week but what do you expect from me at this point um so yeah yeah that's it so yeah, I'm gonna go edit these videos get some work done. I probably I'll actually probably start editing in like an hour or two. Um, so I could watch a little bit of TV, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I keep saying that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. <sighs> All right, so today is Saturday. Um, what time is it? It's 5:21. So specific. What did I do today? I um dropped Harper off to her dad because. What was I about to say? Because her dad's girlfriend had the baby. So I sent her over there so she could meet the baby, especially because like everybody is about to go back to school. Um, and that way she could hang out with her sisters, her baby sister, her older sister, her sister's sister, <laughs> her new baby brother. So yeah, they're all together right now. So I just went and took her back, um, especially because she wanted to go and you guys know I've been in like a really crappy mood so I obviously haven't been like being the best mom in my opinion um I just haven't been like present and like indulging into that aspect of my life because I just would be miserable so yeah I didn't want her to work I didn't want her to like be around that and I know she like feeds off my energy so I just thought it was best for her to go over there so she could have a good time but yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got in the mail today and then I'm just going to log off and edit this video for you guys. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that every video that you see for like the next month of Wednesdays, so like the next four to five Wednesdays, they are all pre-filmed and none of them are up to like, they're not going to be real life timing. <laughs> Is that the way you put it? Um, I filmed all of those this week. So if my energy seems down in them, I apologize in advance, but I just wanted to knock out as much work as possible. That way I can just focus on me a little bit more. So yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking where's my Instagram as well in the comments. Uh, my Instagram probably will be back next week. 
because I have to post a picture for a company. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to deactivate it after that for another week or so. Um, depending on when my new contract comes in from a company for Instagram posts and YouTube, I'll map out if I'm going to deactivate or not. But yeah, as of right now, I don't want to be on Instagram. It has nothing to do with anything. I just, I'm one of those people that I feel like, um, like I'm not running from anything or hiding. I just feel as though like when I'm not in the right space of mind, like being on social media all day doesn't help me because it doesn't help me get to the root of my problem and really focus on me and feeling better. So yeah, I feel like uh, like clicking Instagram all day is just like me trying to keep myself busy when in fact it's making me be miserable even longer, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm fine without Instagram right now. That's no biggie for me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. I've been seeing all of you guys' tweets and stuff to me, saying you guys are keeping me in your prayers and stuff. That really means a lot. I'm getting <laughs> emotional. Um, but yeah, it really does mean a lot. So yeah, let's just open this stuff before I sit here and cry like a baby. Um... All right, I think I'm fine. So this package um, is from the same watch company. If you guys remember from the last vlog where I told you I was gonna return it and get a different size. So that's exactly what I did. Um, the other one, I just didn't wanna keep it because it was the same size as my other silver watch. So I didn't feel the need to have two with the same size faces um, and they are large, like they're more of like a men's size and I like the way men's size watches look on females but I just didn't feel the need to have two. So I returned that one. I feel like they were trying to get older because they make you, when you order it, it comes from super quick, like it comes in like a day or two via UPS. But if you want to return it, you have to return it to like Switzerland. So it cost me like $50 to return it. I mean, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. But also I've taken into consideration that it's going to take them like a week or two to get it and stuff like that. When I emailed them about the return, they were pretty easygoing. So yeah, but just keep that in mind. So like if you're going to order from them, I would recommend like making sure you know what size you want. So yeah, so it's the same company. Jacques du Menor, whatever you say. So I got a two-tone one again. Um, but I got a smaller face and you guys remember I just was telling you I'm gonna wear this one more so every day Rather than a Rolex because I just feel like it's gaudy sometimes So yeah, this is the size of this one. And this one's like the perfect size for me. Um, it's a black face I didn't want this one at first It's always the dog. I didn't want this one at first because um, My silver Rolex is a black face, but yeah, it's really nice. It's really cute. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep this one because I don't feel like having another return thing. Yeah, this one's actually really nice. I really like the size of this one. This one is 36, 37, whatever one it is. But I think it's 36, but this is like the perfect size for my arm. So my silver Rolex is like a 40 millimeter, which is like on the range of a men. And then my gold Rolex is smaller. It's like a 26, 28. So now I have a watch in every size, but I really like the size of this one. I feel like this is a good everyday watch. So I'll size that when I'm done with this. Um, so you guys will be seeing a lot more of these on my channel. Just because, I don't know, I feel like a lot of you always write me just like, how do you save money to like be able to buy a watch? And I didn't ever bought any of my watches. So I just hate like that you guys think um, like that's the case, you know? I don't want you guys to think that like, I'm out here saving tens of thousands of dollars to buy watches because I'm not, I don't really care that much. I would be somebody without a watch, honestly. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to get like a nice everyday watch that I don't feel like I'm being like, oh, you have to get a Rolex, you have to get an Audemars. So yeah, so I also stopped at Target after I dropped Harper off and I got a shit ton of books because um, my dog is so annoying. I swear to goodness, like just throw him out at this point. It's crazy because everybody in this house wants a second dog and I'm just like, why? Like, why? But I want to try to get some books because when I'm not on social media, I do like to back to back to indulge again into reading. Um, before like my life got hectic with social media, um, I used to read around two to three books a month. I really enjoy reading and I prefer to read actual physical books because I like turning pages. I don't like reading books on my phone or anything like that because i feel like then it's just like oh let me check my emails and stuff 
So I went to Target and I spent $100 on books. So the first book I got is Such a Fun Age. It's a novel. Uh, who's this by? It's a New York Times bestseller. Half of the lady's name is cut off. That's why I don't know who wrote it. Let me see. Such a Fun Age, a novel, Kylie Reed. So yeah, I picked this one up. Um, I just was in Target and I just read the information pages. I feel like this is a really bad angle for me. So yeah, I picked that one up. And then I picked up this book. This is called Three Women. Um, her name is cut off too. I don't know if that's an O or anything. Let me see. Lisa Tato. Tadio. I don't know. But yeah, when I read this one, this covers like three different stories of three women, obviously. I don't know why books are always on sale on Target. Does nobody read anymore? Because this one was 20% off. This one was 30% off over here. So I picked up those two. Um, I picked up Supermarket and... This is a debut novel for one of the most creative artists of our generation, Bobby Hall, aka Logic. I picked this up because I actually do really like Logic as a person. I forget what I watched on Netflix where they cover a segment on him. And he is just, uh, to me, I don't know if you guys know who Logic is, but to me he's a really like great person. Um, his morals, his integrity, what he stands for, what he represents, like what he raps about. Like I feel, I feel as though I wish he was more of like a mainstream rapper for kids so that they understand what could go on like i feel like he's one of those people that he just goes head on and says you know like this is what i'm going through and i don't want you to ever think that life is cake and ice cream and stuff like that so yeah, i really like logic um i don't listen to like his music a lot a lot but there are a few songs of his that i do like but yeah so i picked this up because i wanted to read it i mean he's a great person like i said so i would imagine he wrote a nice book um, and then I picked up a book from Jodi Pico, Leaving Time. You guys know I've read her other two books, so I knew this one was going to probably be good as well because I liked the other ones that I had. So this is an, another New York Times bestselling. At this point, I think every book is always a New York bestseller. Like, I feel like every book says that. This one was 20% off as well. Like, why don't you put stickers on books? Like, that makes no sense. But yeah, I picked this up because I read the little excerpt of it as well and it just seemed like her typical books that she writes like she's a great storyteller so yeah and then the last book i picked up is china rich girlfriend i just picked this up because i did i mean i wasn't like fascinated with crazy rich asians but i thought it was a cute storyline um so this is the sequel to that so i just picked it up because i know the movie's coming out sometime next year maybe um and i like reading the books when i'm watching movies because it's gonna be accurate i wish target had like a bigger book section but obviously it's not really a thing people don't really read as much and i feel like people do like reading on kindles but i hate it i can't do it so these are all the books that i picked up and then um i'm gonna show you guys what i got from amazon because i did get another package from amazon but let me close this box so i can sit you guys on here all right that'll do so from Amazon, I picked up some stuff for my retainers. My skin looks like it's so dark and I it doesn't look like that in person. Like that's so weird. I don't know why it looks like that because it doesn't look like that in real life. But whatever. So I picked up some stuff for my retainers. Um, Stephanie told me to get this stuff. Why did she wait years to tell me that I should have bought this to clean my retainers and stuff? I don't know, but whatever. Picked up some... I hate when this stuff comes in weird packaging like this. I also picked up some effective denture cleaning. I usually use like an extra toothbrush that I have um, to clean. But I got these because they have like a pointy tip to get in like to the grooves of the retainers. It's for dentures, but I'm going to use my retainer. Um, so yeah, because you guys know the struggle if you wear clear retainers like this. You just do want to clean them and these brushes look more firm. So yeah, I picked these up for that as well. And then I got, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. Um, I got some nipple pads because you guys know your girl's always going for all this. Who did I see talk about these? I always forget this girl's name. Let me see what her name is on YouTube. Hold on. Oh, Tony. Tony uh, Sebdalis, I guess. I don't know. The girl, she lives in Canada though. Um, she's so stinking cute. First of all, her bag collection. But yes, I was watching one of her videos and she talked about these. So these are called Nippy Skin, the ultimate nipple cover for the smoothest cover possible by B6. The box and the branding is lit. Um, there's two versions, adhesive, non-adhesive. So you can wear them without a bra, with a the bra. There's three skin tones. Uh, I got cocoa, caramel, 
special semi-transparent curly blend to multiple skin tones in between shades go lighter there's two sizes um i don't know how i picked my shade i think i just kind of went for it uh how do you get this out sometimes i feel like i'm not as smart as i claim to be is that weird because it looks yeah i was like it looks like it slides out um it says if your in between shades go lighter and i think i went darker but it's because they look light online um so yeah we shall see i mean i don't wear see-through things i just wear things that i just need my nipples not to show oh these are fine yeah these are good so that's what they look like they are thicker in the center and then i picked up this thing for my extensions so it is random things that you never knew you needed until you get on amazon you could like stick it onto a table or a sink and you could clip your hair in it you clip your hair extensions in here and that way you could wash them straighten them style them without like having to hold them so i picked this up because you guys know i just got two sets of clipping extensions so i figured this would be easy um when i want to style it so like i could straighten it without having it in my head and stuff like that and clean them because obviously if you put product in it, you got to wash it so yeah and then the last thing i got was oh it came with the comb people like me always need a comb Ugh, i picked up um some carrier cases for my extensions as well so it comes with the hanger and you just clip the hair in and then you put it obviously in the bag like a little drying cleaner bag and that way it just hangs perfectly and you can fold it and travel with it um i just got these to be able to store like in my closet and stuff because i don't have anywhere to put them right now without them getting tangled so i picked that up and i don't know what this is but i'll figure that out at some point in life i'm going to pick a book to read i'll put in the description box below which book i ended up reading in case you guys want to buy the book too and we could do like a book club or something um yeah i don't know which one i'm going to start yet I'll probably, honestly, I think I'm going to go either between, I don't know, what is this book about? I don't even remember. I just got it because it said it was him. Oh, it basically covers like uh, him being whoever the character is, being depressed, recently dumped and living at his mom's house. And like just, he got a job to boost his mood. I don't know. I might not read it because I feel like this is just... I don't want to read a book about somebody else being depressed because I'm depressed and even though nothing else is relatable that's just a lot so yeah I don't know I might read that one but I think right now I'm stuck in between these three I'll save this one for just like a random regular day so yeah I don't know but I will put in the description box what book I ended up reading or I'll put it on screen somewhere for you guys in case you guys want to read it with me and yeah I'm going to go edit this video as well later so Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you guys again for all the sweet messages and all of you guys saying you're praying for me and you're thinking of me and that you guys have been looking for me. I'm so sorry that I had to delete my Instagram. Um, I know I could just delete the app, but it's not the same. It's not the same not knowing your Instagram is not there and then knowing that it's there. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much as always. It really is so heartwarming to know that you guys care about me because... I don't do anything you know i don't do anything to like deserve people that don't know me to give two shits about me so yeah that's sweet though um but you guys will see a video go up on wednesday and like i said that video was filmed a few days ago so just keep that in mind if my energy seems low and like i said that will probably be the case for the next five videos that you see on wednesdays from now on um just so i could take a step back and i don't know if you're gonna get a vlog next week maybe you will but yeah it kind of just depends on my mood and what's going on i'm hoping i feel better last night i really thought i was on the right track when i went to sleep um i did feel my mood start to lift a little and maybe stop worrying about things but then i don't know i woke up and i just was like really low again i think it's just because i didn't sleep good like i didn't get as good of a sleep as i thought i was going to on top of me being positive but yeah, I'm hoping that I overcome it within the next few days so that we can get back to normal business. So yeah, I'm going to just go do everything and I will see you guys on Wednesdays. And then yeah, hope everyone is doing great. Hope everyone else is okay and sending my love, positivity, well wishes to all of you. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, and you can follow me on Instagram right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, bye guys.